Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a review on the Garnier Olea um, hair color. Uh, I did it on my mom about, um, it's almost about a month ago, in like 10 days it would be a month because today I'm filming this on November 12th and I actually think I colored her hair on October 23rd but I uploaded the video on October 22nd. Um, so yeah, it was like give or take but it's it's almost been about a month so... In about 10 days or so, it would be a month. And I, I wanted to do it, I was going to do the review like right after we colored it, like, you know, a week after. And then I was like, no, no, I want to wait about a month because, I don't know. Um, so the one that we ended up getting is 9.0 light, and I'm sorry I only have the top of the box that it came in, because uh, my mom just uh, cut the the lid off and kept that. I didn't keep any of the other part of it because she got to it and threw it away. So I'm really sorry about that. But if you wanted to see a first impressions on it and um, everything that came in the review, I will link my first impressions video. And this one is for blonde hair color, but if you have darker hair color, a darker hair color, I will have a link in the description box of that video for darker hair color by some by uh, Melissa from Mel and PHS. So if you want to check that out, definitely check it out. Speaking of a hair color, I know I need my hair color or my hair done, um, but I really like this middle part. So let me know how you guys like this middle part because I used to part it over here and or over here and I just didn't like it. So anyways, back onto this. Um, let me read the claims because I threw away the box. And let's see here. I pulled it up on my iPad. Okay. Crap. Stop moving. Okay. So this is a 60% oil blend. What did I just say, guys? 60% oil blend with natural flower oils and there's no pneumonia in it. Um, and it's set, it comes in 24 shades, um, but I talk more about that in my first impression video. Um, and it's supposed to be vivid, long-lasting color. And I, it said that it's 100% great coverage. And I believe on the thing that the instructions, it said, the way that we did it, we just did the all-over color thing, which we should have did after we were done. We should have um, done the root touch up first and then did the all over color, but we didn't end up doing that because, you know, we thought since we're doing all over, like we should follow those. Um, uh, but the next time that we do it, we want to, um, do the roots first and then go in with the color because that's where my mom's grays are more and they weren't really covered at all. Um, cause you can still see them. So it's not a hundred percent yet. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing an update review when she needs to color her hair again. Um, which I think will be coming up pretty soon cause she wants to color probably for, uh, holidays. So that'll probably be coming up soon when we do it the different way. But the way that we applied it, we applied it to her hair, um, all over. And for that, you're supposed to wait about 30 minutes and then go and wash it out like a normal hair coloring system. Um, but overall, her hair color is literally exactly the way that she had it um, before. So it matched perfect. Um, I mean, she does have darker hair, but when she would get it colored at the salon, it came out like the same color. Um, so that was good. It wasn't necessarily lighter, which is what she wanted. Because um, we weren't really sure, so that's not the box's fault. But it covered well. Uh, with mostly everything except the grays. So the shade again, let me grab it, is 9.0 light blonde and I think she wants to go a shade lighter which I'm not, I don't remember which one that is but she wants to go shade lighter the next time that she does it so when we go to do it the next time I'm going to be doing an update on that but I just wanted to let you guys know how it worked. Uh, the gray coverage wasn't very good because you left the product on for a whole 30 minutes, and um, I applied to the roots first, though, and then did it all over so that it would have a longer time to sit, but it still didn't really cover the grays as well. Um, so I think the next time we're going to do the root touch-up for, like, the 20 minutes it says to do it, and then we'll go in with the all-over color and apply it like so. So, yeah. So it'll have, like, a longer time to sit, and the roots will be sitting for, like, 40 to 50 minutes. So that's what we're going to do the next time, but I will update you then when we do it. But Mel... Or Mel. Melissa said that for hers, when I watched her review, that it covered her grays really well with her darker hair color. So maybe it was just the blonde. I'm not really sure. Um, but other people said that it works fine. So it could be my fault entirely. 
Um, so, like, most of her grays were covered, but there were, like, a few up front here that weren't. So, um, yeah. But like I said, I'm going to be doing an updated review for this when we go to recolor her hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!